I knew in my heart of hearts that I've always wanted to run my own business. You know, build something from scratch. After a few mediocre outsourcing experiences, I decided I can learn to code. And bluntly at the time, it wasn't a choice. This is my first foray into kind of the entrepreneurial world. And I kept the idea really close to my chest, but I learned very quickly that no one cares. We have short attention spans, and we see things as overnight successes, and it's really easy to look at, insert the blank startup, and just assume there were no failures along the way. And that's just false. An accelerator is almost like a school for startups. We're trying to accelerate kind of 12, 15 months of kind of typical startup inertia and pack it into three months. And in that pressure, things invariably break. I have not worked for two coming up on three years. I don't really think about it as so much of a sacrifice as it is an investment into the future. I've eaten plenty of ramen noodles and I've slept on plenty of couches but that's, that's kind of the Hollywood version of it. 15 years ago, everybody wanted to be Bill Gates. Now they all want to be Mark Zuckerberg. And the reality is running a company is not that easy and it's often not that fun. One down, well done, 8,000 to go. Pitch decks are table stakes. In order for a founder to really stand out of the crowd, they've got to actually be able to communicate and inspire. Before you have a business, your human capital is 100% of the value of your company, 100%. You do have to look at capital as really fuel for the fire than really the you know, engine itself. You've got to have a, a big vision. You're going to get up every day and you're going to try to rally other people around your, your idea. You've got to be passionate about it. You really have to believe that you have the potential to, to change the world.